Hey guys, Mr. Astro One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue with Rage. Why, hello there, my name is Jessica, whatever, screw the intro. <laughs> um. Yeah, last time we were able to... There isn't an option to look at your badges in this one, is there? Yeah, there is, just go to your mist, and then... Oh. Yeah, we got our first badge out of... Hey, who's the eighth one? We'll find well, out know. later. <laughs> yes, anyway. you do, we all do. And now this time we're gonna go to Cerulean City for our second gym badge. Yep. But of course sure. we have trainer battles, just like in the forest. Yep. No, I didn't. I just walked right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like you looked at me, didn't you? No, I'm facing away. <laughs> yeah. Lass wants to. Oh wait, Lass. You sound familiar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To name my girlfriend, except not <laughs> yeah. really. Anyways. Oh god, okay, good. We all know about sand attack and how much well, I hate it. So, for battles, are you just gonna keep them in or are you gonna speed them up or what? No, I'm keeping these in. Are you gonna do anything to them or just have blunt, repetitive battles? <laughs> well, I don't really care, honestly. Yeah. Alright. Well, um. Well, that and I think you know who is about to level up and I kinda wanna get that shown. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. But, like. We should talk about something. <laughs> um, how about future things coming? Uh, I guess we can talk about, um, Skyward Sword. <laughs> Skyward Sword. In a Pokemon game, she had two Pidgeys. What a oh. fail. Failure. You're mean. <laughs> uh, well, go away. Oh, hey, look, a required fight. Finally. Is this the guy with the baggy shorts, or is that the next one? Oh, no. That Wait, it's the same guy from the Viridian Forest. Except you never met him there. He's lying. Liar! Oh my god, it's a set of like a million like related kids that look the well, same. It, well, in Generation 1, uh, they didn't have names. So they basically tossed it off as you've already met him. But yeah. in Generation 3, when they added names with, for this game, it basically, I think his name was like Bugcatcher Kyle or something like that. And Kyle. you never met a Bugcatcher Kyle in the forest. I like so. Kyle. Kyle yeah. is cool. <laughs> But yeah, I just basically want to um, get Squirtle evolved really quick because he just needs one more level to get there, and then I'm gonna work on um, our Spiro. Yep, Spiro. <laughs> Shincho. Oh God, no! Choo -choo. Choo -choo. It's not reference. That. Ah, poison sting. Don't poison me. Okay, good. See, oh, come on. That's why I got antidotes because poison sting can actually, you know, be really poison. annoying. And what poison does is when you walk around, you will lose health gradually. And there's two types of it. Yeah. Toxic. Uh, well, toxic's not in like toxic. I don't. I don't Later. Think it's in this generation, but it's not as bad as it would be in the other ones. Yeah. There we go. Because in the other generations, they called toxic badly poison, and this generation it was just poison. Mm. But toxic can but you can die in eight. You die in eight turns no matter what you do for toxic. Mm. And for body get poison, it just decreases gradually. Peck. Hey, it's a level 10 versus a level 10. Who will win? You decide. <laughs> yeah, it's not like there's a type advantage at all. No, no, no. Type advantage is for the win. And it's then it goes, uh, Caterpie. Whoa, you just had a weird, like, audio glitch or something <laughs> over Skype. Oh, man. You'll hear that and you'll think, what the hell was that? But... Guess what? They grew up so fast! Yay! Double G evolved into War Turtle. This is our second evolution of three that we'll get. And I forget when he levels up next. Yeah. Um, he level. No, actually, he evolves to level 36. Yeah, this is the shorts guy. Yeah. <laughs> I learned comfy Epic and shorts guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this guy tells you how to change your fashion sense to be the Pokemon. Youngster. Oh, this is the first youngster we get. Retar Retarta. The legendary youngster Joey. Legendary Sandbird. <laughs> <laughs> eh, you're mean. A oh, quick attack always goes first. Yep, yeah, eh. it's called a priority move. Whoops. Um, Pokemon. Uh, they really did like in generations four, five, and I think somewhat with three. They sort of added priority moves to like the max because like in generation five and four, there's a move called Aqua Jet, and it oh, always hits on. first. But, I mean, ah! there's also stuff like Icicle Shard, I think it is, and Mock Punch, and they all always hit first. Hey, so. fuck this, go back. <laughs> yeah. 
beginning of games are always really slow, but then like they start picking up later. Yeah. So this I apologize with this guy. This is Son really slow, a you guys. Bitch. Come eh. on, double G. I'm getting my ass kicked. He still has another Pokemon. Oh, it's Ekans. It's Snake backwards. <laughs> this shouldn't be too bad. Okay, yes it will. <laughs> Come on. If I die, I swear to God. Ah, seizure. Get a critical hit. Get a critical hit. Oh. Mr. Seizure Tastic 96. What? That's bad. That's 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 amazing. Super New amazing updates are available, bad. as my computer is saying right now. <laughs> but it won't show up on the video, thank God. Thank Lord. Yeah, I think we're gonna go back and heal. So. Yeah. See you guys in a minute. Okay, we're back. Yeah. And you. Can oh God damn it! Now I have to go fight the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, oh wait, maybe we can skip this person, but yeah. Not, look, you gave me it's so intriguing. And I've decided that we're gonna speed the, these battles up, so I'll see you guys in Rage. We'll see you in a little while. Yep, we're back. <laughs> and we totally did not just have to wait a little while before starting this up again. Yep. And we're right. not going back to town, except yes, we are. Can't you just sense the non-sarcasm in her voice? <laughs> um, if I, there's actually something that's kind of important, well, I guess, but... Uh, wait, do they... They don't even sell it. Uh, I thought they sold, sold repels here. I, I think they did too. Okay, never mind. Well, as long as wait, isn't there like a Pokemon sound like right after that route? Mm-hmm. Okay, then let's just keep going. Sorry about that for wasting your guys' time even more than I already have. Oi. <laughs> God damn it! You're not. So you're supposed to know what you're doing in a Pokemon game, Miss. Wake up. You can play Final Fantasy, but you don't know what you're doing in Pokemon. That's a trainer. Yeah. Ah! Be right back again. We're speeding this up too. I didn't touch you. All right, and I thought Rage was eating something for a second. Nope. Let's get back to business. All right, and I believe there is a Bob. Is that you? Oh, Bob no. Saget. <laughs> Bob Saget. Um, I heard that there's a certain Pokemon that Rage said I should get in this next area, but it's probably the most helpful Pokemon in the entire game. I'm not even gonna lie. It has, it has a really good, great variety move pool, and there's just it's a great Pokemon, but it's not it's not really that rare. But it's it's hard to come by in Mount Moon, so we might be searching for a little while, guys. And unfortunately, you guys got to put up with it because, well, um, <laughs> we don't have repels yet, or at least we're not able to buy them at this point in the game. And why yeah. did I ask to heal twice? <sighs> I am such a retard. 
<laughs> this is such a bad episode. Are you drinking something? Yeah, because I'm trying to back away from the microphone when I do it. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna go into our new area here. This is the moon of the mountain, Mount Moon, tunnel entrance. Let's go! Ooh. <laughs> you know, I just let up when you went in the mountain, I was like, yeah, that should totally be a cliffhanger. <laughs> just go straight in the mountain. And then, like, ends the up here. Yeah, an enemy! So... Uh oh. Geo dude! Geo, Geo dude! It's the it's Brock's enemy fled from the gym leader's place. <laughs> that would have been a rock out because it was so unclear. But it, it made so much sense. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna be speeding this place up too. So. All right. See you guys. In see you guys bit. in a little while. Okay, and what you're hearing right now is actually a post commentary thing. What's up? <laughs> Yeah, hey, I have hey guys. Rage here with me, and we're actually doing this a little later after we record. I hope you like the music, by the way. Yeah, um, we just got so frustrated because yeah. of what happened at the end here. Especially, th this was a great start because Double G right here wouldn't wake up for like 10 turns <laughs> or something. Yeah, yeah I think it was 7. <laughs> yeah, it's something like that. And it, it just. Crazy. Did, <clears throat> I, I lost like more than half my fucking health from it. Just like one. I had to use a potion. Just, this did not go our way at all <laughs> during the fucking yeah. thing. This is probably the worst experience I've had doing this place. Yeah. I'm probably guys I like music. Sorry, what was that? Yeah, I hope you guys like music. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Rage is, from Raw. Yeah. I just pretty much asked him for ideas on what to use, and this is one. I liked it, so I kept it in. So yeah, we're probably going to be doing stuff like this for like later dungeons, like Rock Tunnel, Victory Road, stuff like that. And option dungeons like the Seafoam Island, Power Plant, you know, yeah. the whole... The because the honestly, it, it's just not interesting going on and on. Especially not, not, no not, repels. Not like, yeah, I know, you can't even get repels at this point in the game. And it's, it's like, not going on and on like the Friday song. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's so, yeah. rushing. <laughs> We make our way down this part, we got an HP up right there. I get into a ri oh yeah, and I also got this Parish right here for a reason, like, you'll see in a little bit, that I try to catch it right here. Yes. I um, failed catching it the first time, but I catch it the second time, and I'll explain why I caught that later. Yeah. And, of course, I run into a random encounter right before the actual trainer fight I meant to run into, but it's all good. Yeah. I'll get in the hood. <laughs> I'll get in the hood. <laughs> Yeah, um, see, now we start, now we're, we're, this is where things start getting a little bit, like, starting to get cut close. Well, no, this isn't even close to what cut close is. You'll, you'll, guys will see why, because, let's just say that I shouldn't have been able to get through this, and, like, not have to restart, because I took a chance, barely got away with it. <laughs> yep. And, and ironically, it was all due to, um, one thing. Yep. And the one thing that we, you would never think would actually do it. <laughs> Magnemite. Thank God it doesn't have any electric moves yet. Fucking magnets, how do they How do work? they work? I don't know. <laughs> Full time. Yeah, just these trainers in here, they're pretty much just your standard people. They really don't have anything particular that should screw you over if you're at a decent level. You know what I was thinking? What? Why do Pokemon in the anime say their name? Like Pikachu and I don't know. Mudkip and stuff. Fucking but... Japan, how does it work? <laughs> But in the games, the only Pokemon that ever said their name was Pikachu in Pokemon Yellow. So I, t I, I did a smart decision and sent in um, my Spiro while I was still asleep. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, oh, come on, it's just a, it's a Caterpie. And thank no. God that bug types are extremely weak to flying types. Otherwise, Polky would have a really, really hard time with this. You're not- you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Bug Pokemon for the win! <laughs> oh, and a stupid Geodude. Also, this Geodude. has, like, a uh, really <coughs> weak type Pokemon, really. I mean, you shouldn't have that much trouble. Trainers will give you more trouble than anything in this place, but... Yeah. Um, you'll find, like, Geodude, Zubat, Paris, and uh, one specific Pokemon that's actually really, really good to pick up, which you'll find later. Yep. I actually remember one of the third Pokemon in this generation. Uh, yeah, really it's awesome. probably one of the best early Pokemon you can get. And it's also really helpful later, like it, the, uh, the Especially variety. for Misty. And as you saw right there, I just got an encounter while standing still. Yeah. The variety <laughs> yeah. move pull, like the Pokemon you're talking about, being through the table, you just 
absolutely amazing. Especially since that particular type's a normal type, and it's gonna be learn a specific move that's extremely good right now. We're not gonna say what it is yet. You'll find yeah. out. We're only about halfway through this post commentary thing from the looks of it. And this is sped up. Just imagine what it was like. I mean, this took us about 30 minutes, and you guys should be thanking us that we sped this up. Right here, I'm trying to decide whether to go down that or not, because I forgot what was down there, but then Rage told me, No, dude, go down there, there's like, a thingy, and I'm like, okay. It's actually a um, really useful move, you should, uh... Teach Wait, and without this, I probably would have lost, later. Yep. You because get it's the one of the most helpful teams in the entire game, and then, and then, Rage, go back, and and then Rage is like, No, go back, there's an item, and I'm like, oh, my god. You have to click the rock and you get an item, so I'm like, Miss, you have to go back and get that, and then rock. like, ah! Oh. And then you click on the rocket, and then the rocket's like, BOOM! He's dead, and then... Um, then it goes to item, and it's an ether, or an ether, I don't know how to pronounce that. Ether, ether, whatever you want to pronounce it, I say ether. Well, I say ether. I say tomato, you say tomato. Bring potato, potato, tomato, tomato. I want some tomato potato soup. Ew. VC swaz? VC pig. <laughs> um, but yeah. I honestly, I'm already bored of this because just even watching this in fast motion gets extremely boring quick. If you, you guys, I'd be tortured for you guys to watch this whole thing in actual speed. Then like, we, 30 likes to see the regular version. <laughs> then, yeah, this would probably be like a 50 minute episode if I didn't speed this up. It's already like 20 or so minutes as it is, so. So, I, we need to make this interesting from home, Miss. You got any ideas? Well, it's gonna get really interesting soon because of how close of a call I had. So we have yeah. to stall yeah, till then. Um, Joe, dude, hurry up! The inverted song of time. Okay. Inverted song of time. Majora's okay, no, I'd mask. Things down, so we need to play. Whatever. Onyx. Again, Squirtle or what's his face? Bulbasaur makes this dungeon a lot easier. Yeah, but like someone said in the comments oh, in episode 2, take someone mind, said that Lanky would be a good choice for you. Yeah, but, but take in mind, I picked up a Moonstone there, and that should be a dead giveaway, if you, unless you don't know anything about this game. There's actually two Moonstones in this dungeon, one extremely hidden, so... But, we really won't need the other one. Yeah, one, well, unless you pick up a, a meter in which in that case, then... I guess yeah, so, but... Win. There's another, and yeah, you're seeing like right here, I'm at like fucking four health. And what, yeah. what happens here is actually my war turtle here dies, I think, because it gets hurt in its own confusion. And, um, see, the, right here in the commentary, I, I told Miss that a rare candy automatically revives your Pokemon. And it's like, all the, all the, all the it's like very low HP, it still revives it. Which and gives here I am can. trying to run away desperately because I'm on the verge of pretty much dying because I have two severely injured Pokemon and one and, useless Pokemon on And we're, we're at the ba basically end of the dungeon, and then if we would've died... It and he gets a critical hit, and I'm like, oh my god, dear sweet Jesus, please don't die. And it's like, I slowed this down just to make sure people actually see this, but... I'm like, no, and it uses Leech Life. And look at this. It survives with one HP. One freaking HP. And then... And I get out to... of it alive, and I'm like... And me and Rage are like, holy shit like when we were actually doing this. Holy shit. <laughs> and now it is time to actually do okay, something. Okay, wait. Um, you see over there to the right where there's an indent in the wall? Yeah. That's where you get the second moonstone. You click on that little part of the wall. It's really hidden, kind of like the potion in the first city. Yeah. And I actually sped this up in-game too, so that's why the frame rate looks a little like fast-paced, but... There is a very, very, very... Amazing Pokemon. Yes, that I'm... Desperately, I'm desperately trying to encounter because that po that trainer is gonna destroy me with if just playing, one HP if left. If you're yellow, you have another hazard to watch out after you beat this guy. I know, which is even worse. But yeah. we're not playing yellow, so we don't need to talk about it. It's actually rumored that yellow is the hardest. Here it is. So we got a Clefairy, which that's the Pokemon that gave us health at the beginning of the dungeon. How ironic. Yeah. And, and um, you are totally not seeing me reload save states at the bottom left. <laughs> not at all. Nope. So I actually end up resetting a million times because I do not want to freaking, you know, miss this chance. Yes, I cheated a bit, but it's for the better. Better or oh, worse? Question I guess for the better. But yeah. Um. Now we have Fairy. The next and battle. Uh, guess who we're naming him? 
gonna name him after after Bitch Tits. I mean, uh, our good friend uh, Lumistar. Yep. If I could, if I could get around to that, I'm like, hey, what should we name him? And I'm like, oh, hey, let's name him Lumar. Fear. Because Lumar. Actually, Lumar could have fit, but I just chose not to. They would make the long and inconvenient. Of course, gotta make him, you know, teach him the move Mega Punch because we want to change. If you don't teach him Mega Punch, you won't be able to catch his butt and see his friends. And I used the Moonstone there to immediately evolve into a Clefable, so... Now, Clefable is a tank Pokemon, so that's why I did it, because it can pretty much withstand anything you throw at it, so... And yeah, I mean, and this is a part of a team member, Clefable. Yeah, and if, also, I pretty much need to do that, or else I highly doubt I was going to get out of here alive, but... Yeah, yeah. That will... Yeah, and he has a couple new types of Pokemon we haven't quite seen yet, like a Grimer, a Coffin, Coffin... But yeah, that'll pretty much do it for do the, it for the rock post, tunnel. Andre. We're going to um, pick up this Helix fossil, and, and we're going to sign off for now, so enjoy the live commentary. Sweet freedom! Oh my god! <laughs> you guys just witnessed probably about, f like, 30 minutes sped up. But it sped up. Like, it was probably not even 10 minutes sped up. Oh my god. <laughs> that was terrible. And now, I'm just going to let you guys know that, um... We're not going to stop for shit, and we're just going to go straight to where we have to go. Yep. Um, I, are, are there guys up there? No, Okay. Not. I know in Fire Red and shit they are, but just a warning, if you you won't be able to come back after this jump, so, yeah. Let's move And, <laughs> that, uh, uh, ironically, Boomer saved our ass there. Ironically. The only star with a hat. And we're not going to say his joke, because he actually helped us. Well, welcome to Cerulean, which we will be going into next time. Well, in more detail, anyway. I need this Poke Station, and, or the center, because I am about to die. As you saw, Double G survived with one hit point. Yeah, this is live commentary now, guys. Um, yeah, we just, got, all, we just got done with post commentary. Yeah, the entire episode besides this was post, so I'm sorry. And one more thing, really quick before we go away, I'm going to explain the PC thing. And we're gonna go into someone's PC, and we're gonna put away... Mist, I don't feel like recording anymore. I've had to sit through like 40 minutes of this, hurry And up. we're gonna put Paris away, and I'll explain... Well, no, we've explained that in post-commentary, I forgot. So, yeah, and it... No, I don't wanna talk... I that want... bill! No, I heard I'll do whatever it takes to get red Pokemon! Yeah, this is gonna be my team for now, and... Lumar, welcome to the gang! I believe next time we're gonna be getting a new team member as well. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, guys, see you later. I don't know if you've been able to witness watching this whole fucking thing, because I almost fell asleep doing it, <laughs> but, okay. This, been, uh, this video's gone on for long enough. See you guys later. Love you. No homo. Full homo. Shut up. No! <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.